Hi everybody. Um, I will try to make a short video um, today to um, explain about my personal story and why I'm doing these videos. So um, basically, I've been sick very regularly most of my life uh, since I was a baby. Um, I have different theories why even when I was a baby, because now I know that when people are sick is because of their diet. But when you are a baby, I mean, what, what could be the reason? So uh, for myself, I was born at seven and a half months. First reason, I think. Uh, second, my mother didn't um, uh, breastfeed me breastfed me so my parents gave me uh, i don't know bottles of milk powder i don't know uh, and actually my parents told me that when i was a baby i refused to eat I, I didn't want to eat this fake milk and i believe a baby knows what is good uh, for him so i believe that if i didn't want to eat that is because i knew it was bad for my body, but anyway, that's the only thing they gave me uh, when I was a baby. So I think this is the base of my bad health when I was a baby and later in my life. Uh, when I was a child, I regularly had problems, like I was sick, like um, uh, throat infections, um, blocked nose, um, always in that area, the nose, the throat, the ears, always that area. So when I was, uh, how old, I'm not sure, six or seven years old, they, um, I had a surgery to remove, I don't know how you say in English, but it's, uh, it's like a sort of glandula that is between the throat and the nose. In French, it's vegetation, but I, I'm not sure in English. So I got this surgery when I was seven years old. I got another surgery uh, for the appendix. So they removed my appendix. And I actually think this is one of the reasons of my uh, recent uh, health problems. Uh, and later when I was 20, when I was 21, 20, no, when I was 20, uh, I got my tonsils removed anyway. So when I was a child, I was regularly sick. And then when I was a teenager also, but not more than my friends, you know, like I had the medium health, you know, not great, but medium. And then when I was 20 years old, I moved out from my parents and I went to live in Ireland. Um, and in Ireland, so at that time, I didn't know anything about nutrition, about health, about anything. So for me, food was just to uh, fill up my belly, nothing else. And yes, I, I heard that uh, some food uh, make you fat. You know, that, that's the only thing that people tell you, like, don't eat that because you will get fat. But to me, this didn't apply because I have a body that stays slim. So I could eat whatever and I would stay slim. So I knew this and this and this food was not good because it makes you fat. But this was not my problem. So if it makes you fat, I don't care. I don't get fat. And actually, I wanted to, to gain weight. So I didn't restrain myself from eating sugar, from eating fast food. I, I, in my mind, if, if it's for sale, it's because it's not bad for you. In my mind, if something was bad for people's health, it was forbidden by the government. This is how naive I was. And this is how naive most people are actually still nowadays. They believe that if they can buy this or this stuff, it's because it's safe. Because if it was not safe, it would be forbidden, right? It should be, but it doesn't work like that. 
So that's what I thought. And every day, my diet was pasta every day, uh, Burger King every day, ice cream. Uh, my breakfast was bread, but not the not the good bread, like the shitty bread you buy in the in the plastic, you know. So bread with Nutella, sugar, sugar, sugar. This was my diet. And my very serious health problem started at that moment when I was 20, when I was in Ireland. And I got infections in my throat. So the first times it happened, I went to a doctor, he gave me antibiotics and then I would heal. But then I would get the same problem a few weeks later and then other antibiotics and then I would heal for a few weeks and then it came back, antibiotics. I can't tell you how many rounds of antibiotics I got in my life and at this period of my life. It's, it's incredible. Uh, also, at the same time, I developed eczema. I, I never had eczema before in my life and I developed eczema when I was 20. It started here on my hands, just here, and then a few years later it developed here and then I got on my elbow and then later developed more on my other hand, on my other elbow. So, um, anyway, so when I was in Ireland, I got, I had these infections all the time. I had to take in antibiotics all the time, like every month or every two months. What happened was it started with the throat and then I got very, very high fever and I would stay sick until I take antibiotics. I couldn't recover without antibiotics, so I became completely dependent uh, on antibiotics. It became so bad that after some months, the antibiotics in tablets or pills didn't work anymore. So whenever I got sick, I had to go to the hospital and get an uh, injected injection of antibi antibiotics. Finally, one day at the hospital, they said, okay, why do you keep uh, being sick? It's because your tonsils are infected. So you have to remove your tonsils. I said, okay. I went back to France. They removed my tonsils. Yes, it helped me for a little while but this is not this is not the solution anyway so i it helped me in the way that after that i would get sick less often but i would still get sick regularly anyway after that i moved to paris and then i stayed in paris two years during those two years i had like an average health but still sicker than most people i would still regularly go to the doctor i would still get infections regularly and I would still get antibiotics from time to time. Then I moved back to my home country in Provence, in the south of France. And there started something weird. I started to get ulcers in my mouth. I'm not sure because in English you don't really have a word for that, I believe. I, I already searched how you say in English. The, only, the, the closest uh, word I found was ulcers. So ulcers, you know, like you have like some white uh, infection in your mouth. It can be here, it can be on your tongue. So I started to have that, but every day, every day, every day. I don't remember how long it lasted, but I, I had this problem for many months, maybe one year, maybe two years. I, I, I'm not sure. I don't remember exactly, but I had these infections in my mouth. Not only one, not only one spot, but two, three under my tongue. So bad and so painful that I, I, I could barely talk. And that was a huge problem because my job, for my job, I had to talk all day long, every day. Oh my God. And to eat, it was a nightmare. I couldn't eat. I mean, and then I, um, I actually... Uh, found out that it would get worse when I ate sugar. So that was that was like 
my first hint. Um, and then, so I would avoid sugar, but then as soon as I would eat sugar again, it would come back. Um, plus, I would get sick. I mean, this was just like the, the top of the iceberg, you know. Uh, and then, um, and then finally, I, I started to make my own research on internet. And I found out about the alkaline acid, alkaline diet now I believe is complete bullshit, but at the time it helped me because it made me realize that I really had to remove from my diet sugar uh, and, um, how do you say, processed food and eat more vegetables. So that's what I did and indeed it helped me. And at the same moment in my life, I went to see a natu natural path. So because the regular doctors did not help me. The only solution they offered me was giving me antibiotics. They didn't he help me at all. And I saw many doctors and I went to hospitals and uh, I had blood tests and many tests. And every time uh, it came out like I have no health issues. I have perfect health. But that was not true. In real life, I was sick all the time. I had a lot of weird problems like my, my infections in my mouth. So finally, I, I was like, okay, I have nothing to lose. I will go see a naturopath. I didn't believe in this kind of medicine at the time, but I was like, okay, I have nothing else to lose. And the regular doctors won't help me, so I will see someone different. And actually, good for me, I saw this doctor because he helped me a lot. Um, he was the very first doctor to ask me what my diet was. This is the base of health. What do you eat? And not even one doctor before him ever asked me that question. So he asked me that and then he found out the problem and then he said, okay, stop eating that, stop eating that, stop eating that. So I changed my diet and it helped. And he also told me, next time you're sick, instead of taking antibiotic, take this, okay? So this is French, but these are capsules of essential oil of oregano. This works as well as antibiotics without the bad sad side effects. So that's what I did. Next time I got sick, I took this and it worked wonders. So I recommend to anybody that is dependent on antibiotics like I was, take these instead, capsules of essential oil of oregano. So he helped me with that. He also helped me to get rid of uh, the, um, the pill. Uh, I was taking the pill contraceptive pill since I was 17, not even for contraception, but I was taking the pill because I had a little bit of acne and that was the easy solution that a stupid doctor told me at the time, oh, you have some acne? Take the pill. Oh my God. So that's what I did. You know, I didn't know anything about health at the time. So I just listened to doctors. So I, I took the pill for all these years and actually after some time, I wanted to stop the pill. I tried, I don't know, three, four times to stop the pill. But every time I tried, it got horrible. I was losing my hair like crazy. My hair was getting really, really greasy. Even, even just after a shower, just after I shampooed my hair, it was so greasy. It looked like I didn't shower for two weeks. My acne just exploded. My skin was horrible. Every time I tried to stop the pill, it was like that. So every time I had to go back on the pill, and I really wanted to stop, but I, I couldn't. But thanks to this naturopath, I could finally. I told him I wanted to stop that. I told him my problem with that. And he said, okay, no problem. I promise you won't lose your hair. I promise you won't have acne. Take this and this and this, and you will be able to get rid of the pill. So he gave me different plants and essential oil, and it worked perfectly, wonders. So I could, I could stop the pill thanks to him. 
Um, but even nat naturopath, I think naturopaths are way better than regular doctors, without any doubt. But still, he didn't help me on other things. Like I, I had bloated belly all the time, fat on my belly, since always. Whereas I am a very skinny person, but I, my belly is fat. It's, it's not logical. It's weird. So I, I actually asked him why. And he actually just laughed at me like, oh, no, you don't have a, a fat belly. <laughs> I do. <laughs> so that's why I'm saying even nat naturopaths have their limits. So that's why I don't go to doctors anymore. Not even a naturopath because, yeah, I, yeah. So he helped me anyway, but not, not 100%. Uh, then I moved to Costa Rica and I got food poisoning in Costa Rica and uh, after that food poisoning I, I got sick for six months. I couldn't eat anything without getting diarrhea. I, I couldn't digest anything. I would just lose weight day after day after day. I, I, every, every time I ate something it just came out the other way. Um, I did blood tests, I did uh, stool tests. It came out like, no, I don't have anything. I don't have parasites. I thought I, well, I had maybe parasites or other stuff. No. So I was stuck. Um, I was sick for for months and months. And then the doctor said, oh, it's because, because you come from Europe and your body has to adjust. This was stupid. I already went to Costa Rica the year before during three months and I was not sick. I could eat the food here and I was not sick. So doctors, ugh, doctors, doctors. But anyway, I, I was sick for six months, every day, every day, every day, until I met someone who's, who, who had uh, food intolerances and she told me, you should get a test, maybe you have food intolerances. I did the test and it came out, I was intolerant to wheat, dairy, eggs and oats. So I was already eating the paleo diet for two years, so I already didn't eat wheat and dairy, but I was eating eggs every day. So I stopped eating eggs and then finally it stopped, my diary stopped and I could eat almost normally. So, but this was actually a temporary solution because yes, I avoided those foods, but this won't heal you. Avoiding this food will help you temporarily, but it won't heal you because the base of the problem is your gut. And if you have food intolerances, it's because your gut is in a very bad shape, is destroyed. So you will avoid those foods, yes. It will help you for some time, yes. But you will develop more and more food intolerances. And that was my case. And at the end, I didn't know what to eat. I would get sick again, and I didn't know why. So finally, what helped me was purely randomly, I met this guy on Facebook. On a, on a Facebook group where I was, he said something about something that inter interested me. So I went to check his personal Facebook page and I saw in, in a message in his page that he was talking about his food intolerances that he healed. So I clicked and I sent him a message and I, I told him, okay, I have this problem, you healed, can you help me? And this guy, okay, so his name, he, he told me that, uh, that I... I could say his name, I think. Well, I won't say because I'm not sure actually. But uh, so he, he, he told me um, that he had the same problem. He had food intolerances for years. He couldn't eat wheat without being really, really sick. Uh, and no doctors ever helped, ever helped him. So he made some research and he came out. Uh, he came up with his own protocol to heal. And that's actually the protocol I'm telling you in my other video. That's his protocol. So why am I doing that? It's because I got I was sick for so many years, so many years. And especially the food intolerances, it was such a nightmare that I promised myself if I heal, I will help other people. So that's why I'm, I'm, I'm doing that. So I did the protocol he told me to do and I healed. So uh, I, I explained in my other video that I'm not 100% healed, but it's because of my fault. I did stupid things, so I'm doing the protocol again, but I'm like 80% healed. You know, it's I can't compare with a year before. 
So uh, I'm just doing the, the protocol uh, one more time just to, to heal 100%. Uh, but yeah, this guy helped me. He's not even a doctor, but he helped me like, I mean, no doctor ever helped me like he helped me. And he's not even a doctor. But that's why I'm, I'm doing this video. Also, so I could heal my food intolerances and I could heal my eczema and I could get rid of my acne by healing my gut. So that's what I'm doing now. I'm sharing what I know, what I did with you because I know it's such a nightmare to have acne when you are 30 years old, to have eczema. I had such a bad eczema, you don't know. The worst was on my leg. So originally I just had eczema on my hands and my elbows, but a stupid doctor one day prescribed me um, cortisone pills to get rid of my eczema for a week. So yeah, during one week I had no more eczema, but as soon as I stopped, my eczema just exploded. I got eczema back where I had it and new places on my face and on my leg. On my leg, I never, never had eczema in my life, but because of that mm, doctor, I developed a huge eczema like all over my, um, I don't remember how you say in English, the lower part of the leg. So I developed a huge eczema there so bad, so painful, I was, uh, it was itchy, I was scratching to the point I had blood like every day, so bad that now that it's healed, I have a huge scar. But I, I healed my eczema, I healed my acne, whereas uh, I healed my food intolerances thanks to this guy who, who came up with this protocol. So that's the protocol I'm telling you right now. I mean, in the other video, uh, I, I modified the protocol a little bit, but basically it's, it's what he told me. So he could heal his food intolerances. He could help friends to heal too, and he helped me. So when I had these food intolerances, I, I, I was uh, thinking that if ever I heal, I want to help people because I know how bad it is, how a nightmare it is. So that's what I'm doing now. That's why I'm doing these videos to help you. Okay, this is a very long video. I tried to make it short. I could detail so many more things, but uh, but yeah, it's, it's already too long. So I will certainly detail other things in other videos, like uh, my diet, uh, what I think about diet and food, and uh, many other things I can develop. You can tell me in messages what you would like me to tell you, but. The only thing I'm doing is sharing my experience to help other people. Take it or don't take it. It's up to you. It's free anyway. Try it. You know. Okay. I hope I will help you. That's why I'm doing that. So, okay. See you in my next video. Bye.